Hello, welcome to this episode of Microchips. In previous episodes, we were looking at this Ham International Concorde 2 that we checked out and made sure it was fully working and checked out um, if there was any modifications inside. And then we proceeded to fit this Spectrum VCO unit to it and aligned it. And then we tested out my pick based uh, modification that should give minus 40 off the lowest crystal plus full UK FM readout that's channels 1 to 40 on UK FM which after a little bit of code problems we managed to sort out and got it working so in this video we're looking at making this into a final installation tidying it up and then final tests so first things first when we want to install one of these we need to take the PLL chip out of the radio and we need to make sure that there's no tracks cut or anything and strongly suggest you fit a new VCO if you haven't already got one as those VCOs are only cheap so this one has no um, prior modifications so no tracks are cut but there is damage around the tracks but what we're doing here is we're making sure that the actual pin headers fit into the holes because it will make it a lot easier when trying to put in the modification from the other side so we just put it in from the top side and wiggle it around make sure the holes are loose so on our modification board we need to plug in the uh, PLL that we removed and as you can see there's no socket on the pick chip this time we've soldered the pick directly to the board there's no need for a socket on the pick anymore so this is the fiddly bit but if you follow the steps beforehand this should just slot in once you've got the pins lined up just give it a nice push and it should sit down as shown here now there's one thing we need to remember before we solder this in which is quite important that we need to make sure that the modification board is not pushed back backwards towards the channel change too far because we don't want it touching the actual channel change so once you've got it into place just have a look down the back and just pull the pull the modification board forward slightly and have a look down the back to see if there's a gap between the back of the channel change which there was as you can see all pins are sticking through nicely so now it's soldered into place let's do some frequency tests make sure it's operational you can see mid band high band and super high bands are just fine and we've so we've joined together the UK FM uh, UK 40 FM bring the KC shift down and there it is bang on frequency so we can proceed to fit this to the radio more permanently and this is just checking low band so it should be 26 515 26 965 which it is, it's bang on I've actually adjusted the frequencies in this radio as well just to put them all bang on with centre KC shift or the KC shift switched off there's no need to fit a frequency compensation board to this as we've got the KC shift so we're going to be using the ANL and NB switch so I've removed all the wiring for the NB and ANL circuits one of them had to be um, switched on the other one can just be left open circuit so here we're just checking making sure that the switch actually works which it is it's working nicely happy with that it's all good now I've just touched up some parts on the front of the radio plus I've used some 
model paint just to go over the top of the the letter print that was already on the front and I'm going to try and put some letter print on I know you can see it in certain light but but there's the after a good few attempts at putting letter print on we've got UK on the top position middle position is nothing and the bottom position is low should we say unfortunately my letter print set didn't give me any numbers so I couldn't put minus 40 on it but I think it looks okay I'm just doing some final tests of the frequencies so that's high band and that's super high as you can see creeping into the radio amateur band so mid band and UK FM selected KC shift to the left and there we have UK FM so all in all I think it's turned out quite well this modification works works a treat it's compact there's no need for any tracks to be cut underneath there's no messy wiring underneath or precarious placements of any EEPROM boards it's just basically take your PLL chip out plug it into this board plug this board and solder it in to the uh, radio connect your switches up and jobs are good and, and obviously changing the VCO as well because you may not get the lower end lock but it's always good to replace that green VCO anyway because they are a little bit dodgy so next video on this I'm tidying up the case removing all that nasty spray paint and uh, making it look a little bit nicer because somebody's done a really bad job of that if anybody's interested in one of these boards please let me know uh, I will be selling them on eBay very soon but if you are interested please let me know and we can work something out and hopefully you can use this video as a installation instructions but if you're proficient with a soldering iron this shouldn't be too much of a problem but I tidied up the inside of this radio put some new cable ties in tidied up the wiring made sure the wiring was as neat as possible at the front and all in all very happy very happy with how it's turned out so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.